Uh, yeah, PA OG, is, OG you know, sure. of course. Yeah, just going to crush OG, it down. And a gyro. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. This is going to be good. All right, well, let's get into the action, folks. It's game number three of this best Prepare of three. Of OG battle. going against Na'Vi for Star Ladder Season 13. We are early into the group stages before we get into that sweet land final. I believe at the back end of January. But for right now, this has been Na'Vi's first group stage matchup. And i got to say, already... Bit of a surprise. Even if this game, let's say, turned to be a, a Navi shutout, the first two game performance has probably got some people pretty percolated. So yeah, no, they've they've had both games have been fantastic by them. Some mistakes, like we said, throwing it off for them, but throughout the majority of the game, they looked quite good with their teamwork. And look at this already off to a early five man smoke. PA there. mid as well. B lining it towards the bottom. PA mid. What a throwback. Yep. Oh, wards down. All right. Let's see. Trying to get a quick kill. Come. They're creeping in. LeBron leading out the front, hoping to get the big magic missile catch, oh. and they change course as they get a glimpse at No Tail. And I think the jig is up. Are they still going to go for this? Oh, look at this. They're running through the trees. What ah, the... not going to be happening. Yeah, that was good positioning there from uh, the... Those are like Jack. tribal men tactics right there. Ooh, look at this through. Look at this lane ward from uh, OG as well, just outside of the sentry. Oh, that's dirty. Uh-oh. Not gonna be the good at Navi at the begins. start here. Huh? Now PA mid, man. I haven't seen this since Arteezy used to fiend it quite a bit and Envy yep. in them. Wisp PA. Yeah. Something not to be overlooked. It's Very powerful. Oh yeah. Heavy dive potential. Yep. Kinda remember too, PA got some love in, in that recent patch, that dagger. <laughs> now just kinda transmits anything from her items as well. Yeah, you go like hundred movement speed when you get daggered with an Orb of Venom. Just use crawl. I'm dying gonna start mid, helping out his buddy. And it looks like Losing they're gonna be getting the ward. Oh, he tried to get up there. He does get the quick eat of the sentry to Suniko. But for now, he's just gonna try his best to keep them both back in a bay with some early decays here. OG is gonna have their lane ward perfectly fine, though. They've got it down, and it's not gonna get countered. It's outside of the sentry. Yep. So you got a great lane ward in mid lane here for OG and bottom lane as well to kind of keep eyes on Funic here and allows Fly to work with that creep pool with knowing when the threat is going to be coming or going so No Tail should have a solid time in his laning set up and if we look all the way up at the top here Dick Ra is, you know, he's going to be fine. This is going to be a, a rough lane for Moon. He's going to be the sacrifice this game. <laughs> Having to eat constant little fire spears. Not fun. But yeah, definitely this. not. He's able to mess with the pull camp a bit though. Suneko getting hit up a little bit in the mid lane. This is where the action could be going down here early. It's 2v2. So I think... I don't know if this ward was off the mark that they did on the Radiant Pulse side. Because it looks like they wanted to block it, but it is not blocked. It's just kind of a vision yeah. ward. Yeah. And now Dazzle is able to do the pulse, which is... I'm not sure if it was intentional or not. We really can't tell because there's also Darks here. He can really go over there and farm the small camp and farm for himself. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if that was a misplay or not. Hey, yeah, you know Phonic, why don't you go hit him up afterward? <laughs> yeah. But you're right. This is one of those heroes where he so could crit does there. something that he Maybe does. I, I, yeah, well, he'll take care of it by at least body blocking. Crit's guess, pulling right? mid. Something he loves to do. Oh, this is this is something I like to do even in my pubs. Yeah, he's a he used to do this all the time. That's why I was saying he's like he loves his wits. He got yeah he got the thing. troll camp too. It's yeah. the only way you can do it. And then he's like, are you kidding me? Oh. you can technically do it multiple times too. You can even bring in the other camp to do it. But oh, Denny's in trouble. I think uh -oh. Denny's gonna, he might die here. Oh, 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 they got, got the, the balls, TP reaction. So Nico's coming in. He's gonna try to slow him down, but he's yep. only got the soul rip. He couldn't get it off in time to save him. I don't think it would have mattered anyways. They're gonna be able to walk away. First blood's gonna go on to Dendi. This is the first game today before them that Dendi was not able to get the upper hand in the mid lane. He had a good laning phase in the last game, and especially in the first game with his Quap versus SF match. Snakeo getting pressured a bit now as well. Another tether in half a second. Okay, he's fine. Not good. Having to keep Sonico here on hands. Means that it's going to be all the easier here for no tell in the bottom lane to keep farming up. But hey, at the same moment, this Huskar is slow. top of the CS game right now. He needs it. Get that armlet right away and do Huskar things if possible. And yeah, Moon is just not happy to eat those fire spears. Still at level 2, trying to get to his 3. Prepare that over. Phonic is already at his level 3. Yeah. Moon's got his uh, soul ring already finished up there. Doing 
well. Yeah, that's one you can just easily farm up now. Soul Ring Fissures. Mm-mm. We have eyes in this mid lane though, as there go again, there's the blink strike, crit shows up, TP's in, Denny is gonna retreat and run towards Zoniko, who says, don't worry buddy, I got you. Dish out the little bit of decay, and we'll be fine. Miracle continues to get healed up nicely here from crit, using up all that sweet bottle because he knows the four minute rune's coming, and he's gonna go up top, make sure he secures it. And look at this bottom though, Fly looking to sweep in, Phonix here, Phonix salving up. And it will help out with Dendi, but oh, he even eats a good amount of damage from that heal bomb. We'll have to step back in a way. So emphasis for both sides to make sure they secure these runes, but it's Miracle who is taking over this mid lane pretty well. Yeah. Very well done. Very good aggression. A little bit of misplay in the beginning from Dendi going all the way. A little bit too deep. Getting caught out. Yeah, got him. This is just a legit 2v2 lane now. So Nico can't afford to just let Dendi have to fend on this. Phase boot PA. Oh yeah. Hmm. Mm, Funny gets all the time he can pull off the camp here. No tail, just keeps so. farming up. No real threat there. And we continue to wait this top lane to see uh Moon's in the mid lane. He's set up for Dendi if they want to try something. Sure they do. Here we go. Okay, Dagger, they got Fisher. it. Got a blink strike in. Can't quite do it. And he will be able to run away. He's going to be fine. Steps back with a power shot in the meantime, and he's just going to have to continue to kind of wait a bit. Uses up the rest of his bottle to heal himself back up. God, I'm not even going to get to catch the power shot. Moon's going to head his way back towards his off lane after the committed fissure. And Dia is getting closer and closer to an early armlet here. Does he have it? Yes, he does. It's got the armlet recipe. Just needs to... Oh, back at mid lane? Oh, no. Just a brief dank rip there on the deck to get him alive. <laughs> That's a He's just classic missing right there. 350 gold for that armlet. So it should be around a 6... 610... 615 six, 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 armlet, something like that. That's good. 7 minutes, you know. That's usually what I see as the standard for an early farm to Puskar and getting the straight armlet. Yep. Now, do you take it and fight right after you get it? Or does he just continue to use this lane while he can? I'm just continuing nervous about the late game here for Na'Vi. Yeah. But how soon do you want to start? Oh, God. So, Nico in trouble. They get a nice shackle that might help him, but he still goes down as well. And yeah, an extra 75 gold for that weak little tomb. So, it's scary here for Na'Vi. Seeing Miracle getting very comfortable with this PA pick now. With yep. the assistance of crit, oh, makes it all the easier. They're all wrapping on Dendi. He's getting, he's gonna get surrounded, perhaps. Reporting oh, it for God. and whoever's coming no in. Hotels here. So he goes back. Down and ready. So he goes dead. Oh God! Call down and another one. Quick Dendi kill. Quick Sonico kill. Four and O oh already for OG. OG taking off the the skirmish gloves. Yeah. Putting the brass knuckles on. They're probably hungry as well. <laughs> yeah. Radiance like we're, we've already been playing today. Attack. We had a full best of three that we had to go through earlier against NIP, and now they are going to be stuck in another best of three against Navi. They didn't they want to try to round this one out while they can. Then he makes his return now against three, though. Early shackle on the miracle. Oscar coming in, TP. level six. Here Armlet comes. finished. Yeah. Boom! Long That's jump. That's a long jump though, he's yeah. in a weird spot now. Oh he's... god, it was too far. He quick nice toggle, move. turns back in, they get the kill on the crit. That shackle that somehow down. connects, Some and they're gonna make a go for Miracle. Fly though, able to get off the grave. Could lose his life, gets the heal up. And funny, we'll get a double kill. Miracle commits on in, and they get the follow up, getting down Fly. Moon shows up, gets a nice little figure on the Funnick. Funnick stuck between a creep, and boom! Dunks him. Brief little enchant totem. But Moon will now lose his life. Let the game go in. Bloodshed all over the place here. Is Get Your Raw looking to get involved? It's Navi back in the game. They go from what what looked like 5 and 0 to now 5 and 4. Great ports. The rest of it looked like Dendi and Seneca port on the right side of the tower. And. Dichira was able to pour on the left side and he had a quick TP rather than a 5 second one. Nice wards coming out from OG behind the tier 1 mid and behind the tier 1 bottom. Well, on the cliff, of course. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 
This is if they keep, uh, uh, you know, they're offensive, which it looks like they will. Yeah, this mid tier one. Uh, look at no tail. Invisible. Got it. He's just like, he's the playmaker. Look at this. He's just like, he's got a call down ready to go. Already in intreads and everything just for it. Oh god. He's armor toggling here. If he's in caught in mid bad toggle. Oh god, which he is. Oh, he's gonna be yeah. fissured. Jumps in. Dead. I'm gonna relocate and everything, just in case. Oh, that's relocate attack. for a tombstone. 125 gold. There you go. <laughs> Worth it. Oh man, things going right back the way of OG, even after that nice fight for Navi in the mid lane here. Yeah, they do have ways of dealing with this husk, very much so. And his Berserker blood is only level 2 still. I'm curious to see if they like, they can... Build additional measures to deal with this Huskar, but it doesn't seem to be the case right now. It looks like Big Daddy is going to be going in for a Helm of the Dominator buildup. Not really surprised by that. Yep. As he pushes past the tower and is dancing around with Funic, the rest of Navi are yeah, trying to move together in smoke. So they didn't see the smoke, but they did see all four heroes clumped up with that Observer Ward. Yeah, and they're like, we're not going to hang around this top lane. Yep. Fly's already heading towards the mid lane. The other two are heading out. Good awareness. Crit has no relocate. 30 seconds for it. No, wants to go for Funic. Oh, the Fissure. And he's dead. Got didn't it. really need the call down, but expend it anyway. And with that, they can follow up and get a tier 1 tower here. Navi, who had been heading to the top lane, are not going to be able to find anything else. No TPs for them to rotate to the bottom lane to help this out either. This is a big tower, too. This bottom one. Oh, yeah. Gives the uh, Roshan access yep. for the Huskar. Yep, and the mid one was already taken out, so this is very good for OG, like you said, to be able to stop them from being able to get Dyer's the easy Roche. And hell, maybe they could attack. even get one themselves soon. Miracle mid lane, though. Dyer's uh, they don't have a potential catch fall. unless he gets a hell of a shackle here, but it looks like Miracle is already heading out the other way. Hmm. OG. Really good early game here, and it looks like they want to get more from it mid lane. They're pinging it out. Dendi looks like a sweet little treat. Longest dagger ever, and they're looking to commit in. LeBron says, don't even think about it. As he steps on forward, this Vengeful Spirit has been very quiet this game. I actually almost forgot she was in the game. Still trying to get a level 6 to have that swap online ready to go. Very close to it, though. Another smoke. Trying to make trying to make things happen. Can they get it, though? They're rounding the corner, hoping There's to get a Miracle. Relocate. Crit's like, I'll wait. In the back for it. His finger has got to be on that hard button here. Does did you commit the jump? Ah, yes, he does. Relocate's coming. Oh, they're trying to stop him. Close they did. Out. No, they stopped him with a shackle. Dyer's did they? Oh, no, 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 he's a base. Now it hits him. Now the shackle. Oh, is there good. it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, overhype for a late shackle. That's right. okay. Oh, Tombstone is. Uh, you know, at least it scouts out that the ancient stack is there, weakening it up a bit. <laughs> it just the relocate happened so fast. I saw the shackle go out when I went up to go where the PA was. They were already gone. Yep. He so read that smokes, one very well. Two smokes there by Navi, and neither one actually working out for them. Good, great heads up play there from Crit. Instead of being like, hey, we might be able to man up, you know, he just instantly relocates Miracle. And they're like, get the hell out of there. Yeah, I don't bother. Both of them going for the Dominator build as well, PA and the uh, Gyrocopter. Is that necessary for both of them to go for it? Huh. Guess they're in fighting shape. Like we said, they wanna. They don't really care if the game goes late. So yeah. this is definitely a late game item choice. Just constantly. Stack. Well, if they didn't care the game goes late. and They want to be greedy. Yeah, yeah greedy Midas. As well. Classic mid pi Midas PA. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> They'll go bottom. Continue the farm up. And Dendi is gonna be going. I guess straight ags. I mean, for now, has the staff, unless he's going like four staff, Wind Ranger. Don't see much of that anymore. Feels like, a, unfortunately, a bit of a cop out for the potential farm he was hoping to have to this point, if that's going to be the case. But I think that's probably what he's going to go for. I don't know why you buy the um, staff of wizardry first, otherwise. Yeah. I. I don't know if it was him that did it the other day. Someone was playing a win runner, like, I think it was a few days ago, and they did the four step as well. I don't think they won, but... You used to see staff. it a lot. Yeah. Not happening as much anymore. Old four step was legit. That was a long time ago, though. Oh, Dazzle gets a medallion here. Oh, gee. 
Okay. Their own personal rush potential grows a bit with that and obviously makes things a lot worse for the Huskar. Another thing which I really like about the Dominators is they're going to constantly be able to send little creeps into the Roche and scout it out so the Ditch yeah. is never able to really sneak a Roche on. The and they know. OG knows that bottom lane is has three heroes, but looks like Navi is wiser. Now yeah, they pull back. Radiant's OG are not going to be able to get the catch here, but they sweep and move in. He said, get this hill troll, kill it, kill it! Well, they got it all right. 26 gold. But during the meanwhile, they're looking to go for a bit of a D-Ward. They don't uh -oh. actually have to D-Ward the top camp. Instead, they make a move for Ditya, who's trying to try to do Ancients. Meanwhile, they're going to get LeBron, two of them. Going to be going down here. Black Cannon going to be pelting Sonico a bit, but he is out of there. He is in trouble. Oh! There's another Tombstone claim. Nice, nice Tombstone Very nice TP. Makes it out in time with the help of the Shackle save from Denny, but this means that OG now can move into the pit, and it looks like they will do so. With PA and Fly and his medallion, should be no trouble. Looking like a damn good game for OG, a team with a, a better late game already off to a better early game. <laughs> and now mid game. Here comes Navi though, not looking to go out without a fight, Fog. <laughs> Denny's just gonna happily step in, shoot off the power shot, let him know, hey, we know this is happening. Swap Age of Steel, come on! Oh, okay. Roach goes down, Age is gonna get snagged up here from No Tail. Radiance top tower is under attack. And he will back out. That's something that Navi needed too. They really wanted to get that yeah. Roshan for him. And it looks like Gyrocopter is gonna be going for more kind of like this utility build. He's rushing the uh, Silver Edge, it apparently seems. God, that is just Claymore so filthy. Up. Yeah, I like that a lot. We know Radiance that Navi, a lot of their game attack. plan is gonna be behind this Ditya Raw Huskar. Right? OG just don't even want him to have the chance. <laughs> they know that now they can bank most of their damage into Miracle and his PA. Radiant no Tail can just be the one to kind of deal with the Huskar. We gotta see if that execution we saw from the other series of Na'Vi could pull out for him here. Dendi's just so poor. Yeah, Dendi's poor, so Nico's poor, and he's been handing over tombstones this game. Yeah. Vengeful Spirit, I mean, I don't even know. What is happening there? Now at this point, it's just swap saves for this they just, Huskar. They also kind of just, they first picked this Darkseer and didn't really pick any type of like wombo combo, I guess you could say with it. They have a bunch of no. physical heroes, or a bunch of single target heroes with yeah. this Darkseer. He, and he gets a very late mech. Attack. Last game he got it at, what, eight minutes, nine Dyer's minutes mech mark, and he just got his now at the 15 minute mark, after getting a triple kill too. Yeah, it just makes me wonder again why they went with that early commitment to the Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, it helps with the Wind Ranger, I guess, a bit, but it doesn't help with that team fight. Five mana smoke, Moon. Hey, large shackle. They got Moon. And he's down. Oh, the grave. We'll keep him alive for now. Stun and run. Oh, but the call down comes through. Miracle jumps in. Digger to Raw almost in trouble. Nice little swipe. Puts him over to the other side of the fissure. Another shackle. They're gonna have to focus this tombstone. They will get it down. Oh, down. the spent card down from Miracle! Oh man, and with that, Navi just quickly lose two. He loses the core, life, but relocate he gets the over to the low ground. They'll be able to catch some Nico here. Zombie is walking away and will be dead. <laughs> I was waiting for it. He's like running and around in circles, trying to trying to find the stop. He kept canceling and then he ends up getting the two-man stomp. Ends up taking down the Huskar, loses his life, but gets his team a bunch of kills. And Moon, unfortunately for him, he dies right there because he was 30 gold from his Blink Dagger. Yeah, well, he'll have it again soon. Yeah, he'll have it very, very soon. And still, it's OG getting the best of that. Yeah, he's pinging neutrals. He's like, I have to farm these two neutral camps. That's my Blink Dagger. Dendi working bottom here as Miracle will show up and says, Hi, how you doing with a dagger? I'll take the farm from here. Or not. Can look at a commit in. Not gonna get the Illy crit, and that will force out the wind run. Denny retreats, steps back and takes away. Looks like Miracle is going to be building up into Yasha. Meanwhile, mid lane, Aegis is gonna be popped here as they get the jump on the No Tail. Follow up life break here, gets the dunk. No Tail needs help. Crit shows up and helps him with it, and that means Huskar is gonna be going down. And they're happy to just run right through this wall and try to get a hold of Funny. Oh, Moon jumps in. Echo, a bit dramatic, but nonetheless will help him secure the kill, I guess, for Phonic. I think I think the Echo damage clipped him. Yeah, it did like 200 damage at the end there. Yeah, it was right on the cusp. I'm not sure if it was entirely needed, but it was still, you know, whatever at that point. Just got making the sure he kills the got to show off. Yeah. That's me, the tier 2 is to go down. OG in a commanding spot to take this game 3. I'm 
very curious to see what the response is going to be here with a very underfarmed Dendi Windranger who is actually going to be turning that staff indeed into a Agnum. So now that he's committed for the point. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, you know, Huskar goes down again. So only have a Sange and an Armlet at this point. Hotel is just moving all over the place this game, and it's working out incredibly well. He basically has the Silver Edge picked up. 6 0 and 640 CS. 134 CS, sorry. Dyer's and now, tower. looks He's like they're going to go do that big ancient stack for him. And, yep, it's going to be pretty farmed. They're over 10k net worth already. XP getting close to that mark. Ooh, that's, that's rough. That that is not what you want to see when you have a uh, undying Huskar lineup. Yeah. You're not Huskaring out. You're getting to 20 minutes. He's expiring. Quick. Now we gotta do something. YOLO play. It's gonna have to be in the near future if they itemize appropriately because all they have for Fire's high ground defense tower. is that Darkseer now. Yeah. It's not and as glorious as what they had in the past. We were talking about how that Darkseer just picked up his mech about, you know, 15, 16 minute mark. Well, Wisp has his own mech now too. Mm -mm. Radiance bottom tower I don't know, man. Is under attack. Yeah, rough time for Navi at this one. So Wisp back picked up, Yasha picked up for the uh, good shackle, yeah. Dendi, but he will eat a stun there, a stun there. Relocate. Oh, I thought the centaur was gonna stun. Oh, no, he wait. Of course, and what the hell's happening no. here? Crit can get jumped on. Didn't get raw actually very low, but he's able to get the finish. Crit's gonna be going down. Oh. Miracle moving in. What the hell's happening here? So they're looking to make it go, but he is happy and fine. The mech is going to keep him alive. Now Miracle looks to go in for LeBron. LeBron will go down. Man, he should have used the stun on this centaur, but he's not going to be able to get the catch there. So Nico turns the corner. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> he's just like, I don't know, Bob Rossing with that tree a bit. It was one of those zombies. It took the zombies from Walking Dead. He just got stuck in the tree. The limb just you know, he got caught. So the flesh just got stuck in there. We got to kill it, Carl. He's under attack. They'll go down. And OG, still dominant position now. Yep. 18 to 7. They'll be able to finish out this tier 2. Even the supports are insanely far. Solar Crest on the Dazzle, helping a ton versus the Huskar. Just able to put it on the PA or the Huskar. Takes him down. That relocate was really interesting because the Huskar jumped him as he's relocating, but it wasn't a base relocate. It was just a, you know, let's reposition relocate. Does he only go so far at that point? Like, what if it was a base relocate? I don't think he would have jumped a base, would he? I don't know. Some some abilities have like that limit restriction where it would, wouldn't go as far, but I'm a, I'm not sure. I think it I, I, mean, I don't think it would did? change. <laughs> what if that, the base? That I don't think you fly the base. <laughs> someone someone needs to explain me. I don't. That, that would have been. Happen. I think not because I will, we oh. would have seen that at some point, but I've never seen that. I think it was just that nice like leaping cap or something like that. Anyways, anyway, this, this is it. Your Raz leap on him now. Oh, he's trying to relocate, but that shackle cancels and. We don't get the kill on crit. We get that freaking wolf too. Bit yeah. cocky there coming out of miracle. Farming really, really far up. Just gets just a standard stun shackle. Just gets bursted down very easily. It ends up getting his his buddy crit dead too. Moon in position. Blink echo. Oh, do it, Moon. Does he want to do it? I think they're aware. Uh, oh, nice. All silver edge. Now, now, now. Oh, steal later. Huskar's gonna be out. Vengeful Spirit 2. Curse Splat. Mm. From the rafters, moon comes. Centaurs everywhere, too, this game. They're all over the place. No. Oh, well, with that, OG will take the moment to spot out maybe the Roche, but they have plenty of time before that's actually gonna be up. Maybe just secure out the final outer tower here at the bottom lane. Seems to be next on the agenda. Dendi was able to finish off his Agnum Scepter, but unfortunately it could feel a little too little too late. OG, time to get that last outer tower. Make things easier as they could wait out for Roche, get that Aegis, and eventually push into high ground. It's going to be very, very hard for Na'Vi in this game. Yeah. Doesn't really look like they have too many ways to come back into this game. It's up to really OG throwing it away more than Navi mm -hmm. able to make any big plays. But it's game three and OG probably want to play a little bit safe. Not looking to just carelessly throw themselves in that bottom lane and keep on pushing. They're going to step back and farm, take out some ancients, and maybe wait out for this Roche here. And well, to their convenience, it's a smaller timer, but they still have to wait about a minute or so before it's up. Look at Navi though, they're creeping in. They want to take this back. 
get, get the that, centaur. Yeah, get that guy. That's like the one guy we can kill easily. Got him. Nah, oh, I didn't even get him. Did you see that? They, he denied or expired? He dropped the dominator. Gyrocopter dropped its dominator so that the centaur dies instantly. How dirty do you gotta be? <laughs> I was wondering what Give happened for nothing. a second, I glanced it and I saw it. Because I've seen people do it in pubs before. I've seen how I think like, R2 I forgot it like auto dies once you drop it. Yeah, that was nice. Nice heads up play there. Just denying them any gold at all. So smart, no tail. So smart. So smart. Okay. Big weave. Navi now. Oh god. Navi, not like this. LeBron's like, no! Don't swap anyone. <laughs> Tomb on the high ground is a good placement, which is going to be quickly pinged out. And OG are like, we'll just take the fight elsewhere. Yep. All of Navi's weaved up, or two of them, the ones that matter. The Huskar and the uh, Undying. Yeah, they got a... 13k like net worth on this gyrocopter. Stacking the enemy ancients. He's like, I'm just going to farm here. Oh, good crap. Roche is up now too. Radiance and Moon is going to farm up a tombstone. Attack. Look at that. Free gold for everyone. Boop. Oh, what's happening? Okay. Okay. What are we doing? Go, go Scepter TP. Nice. Oh, what the moon? What the hell was that? Moon. We saw that. You know we did. I think he has his blink was up too, and his four staff. The hell? Oh, lag. Yeah, an, an angry echo slam that he got away. Not working. But back into the pit they go. Now it's time to go for Roche. And with this, that might be the ticket to move into the upground and get it done. Yeah, it's looking like more and more like OG's game by the by the second. It looks oh, this like is Navi's the yellow for moment the for Navi. Smoke. Yeah, here we go. This Yolo. is it. Your, your team's expiring, and, and fishing blocks. you shall not pass. Oh, oh. oh they could have kept blocking him with the centaur. That would have been great. Oh, but in. He no just give me that fucking roach. I want it now. Hard is right. And with that, they turn back. Here comes the back. All right, they take down two here for Miracles. Four Lots lives zombies. well. Needs to reposition here. They still have the Grave to work with. They're hoping that Miracle can make it work. Meanwhile, on the high ground, Grave is making zero damage. Yeah, really he's not. He's just getting healed. Getting solar crested. Buyback from the Huskar is looking to go for his round two. Fly's just killing zombies. Like He's just like, guy, get them off of me. Come on, I'll heal you. Dendi. <sighs> Hustling away here. He's gone. Did you rot back for a second life? Oh god. Nice this great. Is it working. Gets the weave off. Fly's gonna go down here. Bridge might as well. It's not worth it. This, this guy's gonna relocate. Oh, back. he's safe! Oh man, this is a dieback for Did you raw? And they're gonna get the kill there. And that's that should just be GG right there as well. Should be GG. Yeah. But even Fly buys back there just in case because relocate was coming back. Crit picks up Guardian Greaves. And it looks like Navi just want to well, keep I mean, trying. Even fight out. It's like, might as well if we're going to just raise the white flag and throw in the towel, let's just do what we can with the last remaining life. Denny dies again. So Nico is going to hand over another two. Denny's alive. LeBron died. Oh, LeBron did. That's okay. Whatever. Jerax, right? Attack. Just throwing a Jerax as well. Guys was calling everybody. Jerax is a Jerax. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Navi. Didn't work out for you there. Do you think it's going to work out for you now? They got an Aegis. You have to pull out one hell of a high ground hold here. He got Phonix in his wall, but I don't know. I hope they want to demoralize because they looked really good in game one. Still look good in game two, but okay. Denny moves in. Boone's going to catch him. Swap back save though from LeBron. Goodbye, Denny. Uh, Ooh, uh, he might be tanky. fine. Oh, he's he made it in. No oh, that was scary. He made it back into the safe zone. But OG are not going to be letting up. It's their time. They're looking to move in. They're going to sweep out and take this series. They want to walk away with two big wins. Now, oh, Tombstone committed. Miracle going in for a party. And oh, the force. It's a guy in the trap. He got a little blink out. Thank you. Good shackle connection here through the wolf creep to hold down no tail. Wall already committed. He's going to step off. Looking for the catch here on Dit Yura probably if that... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Alright. Navi's still holding here. Haven't lost anyone yet, but their wall is out in the front yard and it's soon to expire. 
OG is going to be happy to heal up. That's Greaves coming out on crit. Uh, he's going to hold. Keep on waiting here. Moon now with a blink echo. Now he's going to find their way to get into the base. It might be just Miracle going ham. The wall is going to tick out in a moment. About 15 more seconds or so. Or 5 more seconds. Miracle connection on the Miracle. This is, of course, for his Aegis oh, here. Moon forces him forward. All right, swap back to save Ditya here. But now is walking right back into a call down. And he dies. And he's dead. And he goes down to the black, and that means that OG can now go to work on this tier 3. Meanwhile, Funic is up in arms here as Miracle looks to chop on down. He cannot catch a break with this crit. Not even there either. Crit, help him get a crit. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Right at the end. Annihilate the Dendi here. Payback for game one in that mid lane. Oh, no, Moon. Hello, everyone. Right inside your base. Great and crit. Like oh. What is the DA doing in here? Navi lose another. Oh, it's not a five man wipe yet until you get that guy. Get back in there. Get back in there. There you go. You did Big it crit. Swap. Kill. Dyer's now it's a five man wipe. And Navi is saying, okay, now we're done. And that will do it. Team OG. Going to be taking game number three. And with that, the whole series. Attack. Yeah, very dominant Radiant performance in the last game. Yeah, that, sure. that, yeah, that was. That game three is probably what people were expecting to see from the series as a whole. But I gotta say, we can't look past game number one and two. Navi, there's there's fight they in there. They there's, fought. There's fight in there. 